Hey, it's Andy here. I just wanted to pop out a quick video to cover three things. One is the economy, two is uh, the trade war, and three is the Fed. So on the economy, no question we're slowing. Uh, both the Atlanta Fed GDP now and the New York uh, Fed now cast are showing growth between one and a half to one percent. Uh, I think it'll be slower than that because of an inventory adjustment. Just keep an eye on that. Go back and take a look at some of the data from the Commerce Department on GDP, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I did write an article on this, posted it on LinkedIn, and it's also up on my website if you want more information. Uh, number two, the trade war continues. But just remember, this can stop whenever the president wants it to. Uh, we will see a continued focus on that as we get into the next couple of weeks going up to the G20. Remember, uh, the president can change his mind on this anytime soon, and he may, depending on how he's doing in the polls against Joe Biden and other Democrats. So keep that in mind. Uh, it is really disruptive, and it's being reflected in the global PMIs, I think, uh, as well as uh, some of the CapEx decisions that are going on in the United States right now. So that's definitely a negative uh, out there, but it's much smaller impact than people believe. And finally, the Fed. The Fed is very supportive, right? And if we look at our model, like on gravitational pull on, on what impacts the markets the most, it's clearly the Fed. And at the beginning of June, we had uh, both Clarita and uh, Powell come out and say that, you know, if the trade war continues, we'll, it essentially, you know, we'll keep that in consideration. And of course, the markets ran with that really quickly and they decided they were going to move forward a bunch of interest rate cuts. There's now one fully priced into July and there's three priced into the end of January. It's not going to happen next week. I'm sorry to say there, you're not going to get a rate cut next week. And I question whether or not we'll get one by the end of July, but certainly the Fed is going to have a positive impact in the markets. And if we look at the alignment of our different uh, gravitational poles of our planets, the Fed is clearly, you know, helping things out, but they haven't stopped quantitative tightening. Uh, the, the earth, which is U.S. domestic policy, uh, that's pretty negative right now. And it's being reflected. And of course, uh, the last thing is technology. That remains somewhat negative as well, uh, but just kind of more of an arranged trade. So we're not aligned. We're not going to get a strong move out of these markets, but it's overall fairly positive because of the Fed. So, hey, just a quick happy Father's Day to all the guys out there. Um, really wonderful job in, in, in having children and raising them. It's a tough it's a very difficult thing to do. I know I get challenged every week on it. So uh, just enjoy the day with your kids if you get a chance. Thanks.